This video was released 12 hours early to people with my membership, so sign up now, okay, bye. Alright, now that I finally talked about Pet Simulator 2, now what do I do? Considering how they had the courtesy to knock, that must be Messiras. God, he must be mad after I put him in there. Look, before you say anything! What are you talking about? I'm just here to show you my new game. This is literally just Murder Mystery 2. No, it's my own thing. Okay, well I thought you came here to talk about- Oh yeah, also, WHY DID YOU LEAVE ME IN THERE?! Look, it was a last minute thing, okay? I didn't have time to make all the preparations I needed. Okay, fine, I guess I can't stay mad at you for too long. I'm just gonna look around this place for a bit, you do your own thing. Anyways, hi! Back in February, I made a video talking about the rise of modded games on Roblox. Games that basically just take a game that's popular and put their own, quote, spin on it. Usually involving a bunch of cheap Robux purchases to get overpowered stuff that would be in the normal game. And while I did do justice on that topic in that video, there are some more modded games that I want to talk about today. Which is what this video is for. Considering how I literally just explained modded games 30 seconds ago, I'm going to assume that you know it already because you do. Let's get right into it then. My Restaurant Modded is the first game we're going to check out, and this is the worst example that I have. Well, worst in terms of morality, I guess. Because this is a one-to-one -one copy of the original game. If not, some limited items are on sale again and you have infinite cash. But besides that, this is the exact same product. I have no idea if Robux stuff works here or not, but I'm not about to test and find out. Why would I give an asset thief my money? This sadly happens with a lot of Roblox games, although I'm not going to talk about it that much here, it just still sucks to see. I have no idea why Big Games hasn't taken most of these down yet. I mean, I think they have taken some of them down, but it still exists. There are other scarily one-to-one -one copies of Big Games' products, too. Big Paintball Modded, everybody. The best game I've ever played. Heard they got complaints from parents to take out the guns, so they did. I love the GUI update, by the way, it's really cool. Dude, I can smell your sarcasm. It's really obvious that this is a bad product. At least call it like Big Paintball Remake. With modded, you're just making people think you did an asset rip of the game. Now, I know I already talked about Pet Simulator mods in the last time I did this, but I just wanted to take a look at one more. This version has a, quote, forever pack, which is really just the ability to get different huge pets with gems. Not really much forever about that. But this screen intrigued me, because the game says that buying stuff with Robux saves after the game gets banned. Why are you banking on your game getting banned? That's like the worst thing you can do. So like, they know they're doing something wrong, yet they do it anyway. Like, why? After a certain amount of copyright takedowns, your account gets terminated. I would not risk my account for this crap. Take your coding skills and put it into another simulator. That is, if this person has any original coding skills at all. So yeah, the main gameplay is basically Pet Simulator X, but with like peanut butter on it. That being peanut butter smeared all over the bread instead of just under it. Oh yeah, and also a new Huges Forever pack permanently on the screen. One of the primary gimmicks of these Pet Simulator mods is that you can get stuff that wasn't obtainable in the original game, like these blades. These were in the game, but had no obtainable way to get them. They also have, like, really shoddily made events, like, I'm talking held together with duct tape. For example, this one. You have a AFK egg where you can get, like, I guess, like, bananas that have extremely poor stats. Also, lucky blocks that have a very small chance to actually drop eggs, like the original, except there's also another lucky block currency. 
Masteries were completely broken, no way in hell they were gonna code that. But yeah, with my currency, I decided to get, uh, an electric king, which doesn't even look like it's from this simulator. They probably just took it from a different simulator, because this looks nothing like the pet simulator style. I mean, look at it. Does that look like pet simulator to you? They didn't even credit the model maker. I love it! Hey guys, editing stars, I'm here. I do not support stealing models. Okay, this isn't a mod, but I was looking for mods when I found this, and, um... Best game ever! Now, another type of modded games that are extremely prevalent are Murder Mystery 2 mods. Immediately upon playing the game, you can become murderer with Robux, amazing. Now, as always, everything that was normally obtainable is now free, besides like some extremely cheap things, I guess. Immediately, you are bombarded with offers that only last for like 10 minutes. Are these timers even accurate? Do they even go away if you leave? Or is it just perpetually there to trick young kids into buying it? Because godly knives don't even matter in this game if it's a mod. If everyone got a billion dollars, then a billion dollars wouldn't be worth that much. Don't even get me started on the fact that they have a global nuke and limited stock items. I don't even think that they work with the limited stock. They probably just say they're limited stock, but they're actually not. But once you do buy it, you can't go back. Oh, admin commands! Only three left! Oh my god! Oh yeah, not to mention the must-stay-in-the-game-for-free-spins kind of thing. Xylix MM2 is only slightly better. They still have, like, you know, AFK World daily spins. Oh yeah, with a game pass that has a 1% chance to get owner commands for 1,000 Robux! Yes! On average, you need to spend a hundred thousand Robux for owner commands. And I thought Saul's RNG was bad with gambling. There was also a tag editor game pass, where instead of it just opening once you buy the game pass, it just keeps prompting you the game pass until you get it. Oh yeah, and it's a shirt too, because why not? Maybe so you keep it once it gets taken down, which, again, before, you shouldn't just rely on it getting taken down. Murder Mystery V is the only example I've seen of a kinda good one, considering how it has a unique lobby for it, and I haven't really seen any huge pay-to-win elements or huge child exploitation in this one. Yeah, it's a complete asset theft, but at least it's not, like, extremely child-manipulative kind of thing. Now, I'm not sure about the original game because I heard that was copied too. However, this is a copy of a copy if that's true. Now, this is a lot different from the original that I've played in terms of, like, stuff around. Like, they barely changed the things you can do, except there are ad portals everywhere and just, like, tons of Robux items. Random particle effects, items, and a ton of stuff that weren't in the original that just makes you feel that it was all meant for premium payouts. If you can't rely on Robux purchases, then premium payouts are the second best way to go for it. Okay, look, I know I've already talked about this game like two different times, but I just had to go ahead and do it again. Stop milking this game, you're already too far down the rabbit hole. It fits the topic, okay? Ugh, fine, I guess you're- OH, oh MY, my God, GOD, WHAT IS that? THAT?! Yeah, this game has a lot of morphs that are... stolen at best, because the thing is, I've seen a lot of these characters in other types of these games. They obviously didn't get them permission to use them either, so they're taking characters from an already bad genre. Okay, why are there literally morphs everywhere that you can purchase with Robux? This is just the most blatant product placement I've ever seen. Yeah, neither me nor him can think of any good qualities of this game. After looking at all of that today, I am not sure at all how these games are still around today. 
Their entire purpose is stealing from the work of others in order to profit. People spend time and money to create good experiences on Roblox, so that doesn't mean you should just rip it off and then take all the money. Then again, anyone would do anything for a cheap buck. But no matter any circumstance, you do your own work. Unless someone's willingly giving you something, you don't go ahead and take it from them. Okay, look, I know I have to go back to that place, but please give me and Straza more things to do in there. Sure, I mean that place was unfinished, might as well go ahead and add something else. Thank you! Okay, I I'm gonna go now, see ya. Basically, just make your own crap. And with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Okay, I managed to convince Starism to give us more things to do. I think it worked! I see something else over there! Really? Two Deal or No Deal arcade machines? I'm actually okay with this.